All right, hello everyone. This is Anonix, or uh, I just want to walk you through um, some of the features of KiCad and how to use it with Macrofab. Uh, Macrofab is a PCB assembly uh, service, I believe, in Houston. Uh, we discovered them about a month ago, and really impressed with their service. Uh, so I want to just give you this overview. There's some things I've learned over the last few weeks, and just you know, how do you set up things in KiCad so that it will transition properly. Uh, they have some really neat tools as far as you know, aligning the placement of the parts on the on the PCB. They also have some uh, house parts they provide, which really reduce costs significantly. Um, they will go out to DigiKey as well for parts they don't have, and then if they don't, if they can't find it from DigiKey, you can consign parts. Uh, in the middle here, you'll see with the BMD 300 from Regato. Um, that's one we will be consigning. Uh, we've got a pretty good deal on that. Uh, better than some of the DigiKey steps, we'll be providing that. Um, we also have some house parts so one recommendation to make is if you have a common part like an LED like we have down here or some switches uh, go see what they have and then adapt your design to that you, you won't be paying any labor for it uh, and so you'll just be paying part costs or whatever quantity you decide to buy the, um, the PCB in uh, so if I scroll in here to my switches uh, you'll see I have these part numbers MF SW TACT 4.2 millimeter that is um, the macrofab, you probably can't see that window, but that's the, the macrofab uh, part number for this 4.2 millimeter switch. Um, so that'll save us a lot of cost. We also are using the, the 0805 red LED that they provide. Uh, we have some test points, uh, although we'll be consigning those because we have a few thousand of those on hand. Um, let's see, we also are using their LDO to uh, go down to 3.3 volts from the uh, the J-Link and then we have our our boost regulator up here at the top and that's one that they'll be getting from DigiKey for us and then our APA 102 LEDs um, we're using 16 of those uh, they cannot get them so we'll be consigning them once we can get our hands on them we'll be sending them a, a reel um, I will not be showing uh, the actual preview of the design this is just a prototype uh, so sorry about that we do have a, a good design ready um, but we're not really sure that's going to be the final one and we want to make sure we keep you guys interested for a few more months before we we reveal that so this is just going to be a, a basic square so next up i'll show you what it looks like in the layout editor and then a 3d view and then i'll show you macrofab okay so this is the um this is the pcb layout for the prototype again just a rectangle not actually giving me the design but i have my test points here along the side actually on both sides LEDs 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 so 16 LEDs there's the BMD 300 uh, the display will go through here and the ribbon will wrap around to the back um, our logo the J-Link five buttons so what you saw last year on Bender uh, somewhat similar design although we're doing a lot of very new cool things uh, with this LDOs are on the back and uh, there's a micro SD here as well So on the Macrofab site, they have a house parts list. Uh, I use this when I'm doing the design to select footprints um, for some of the, the parts that I'm using. They have pretty much every resistor capacitor you can think of. They have some of the ICs, um, although it's pretty limited. I didn't find any of the Atmega 328s. Uh, certainly didn't find any of our BMD 300s in here. But the big deal is if they have the part, they're not going to charge you for labor. They'll just charge you for, uh, for the, the cost of the component. And whatever quantity you're ordering in. So that's pretty nice. So that's the house parts. Go here when you're doing your design. You know, save it. Alright, so this is the DC25 prototype. Uh, I've already started the upload onto Macrofab. Just want to give you a quick overview of, of how you use the tool. Uh, standard from any you know fab website, you get your layers, you get your thickness, the copper weight. Thickness, there's some custom options and up to 2.6 millimeters. Uh, that's really nice. The silk screen color and, and solder mask color, this is the important thing on this page. Uh, the default option is any any so any silk screen and then any solder mask that's what this first box here it's not white it's any um, that's important that's going to keep your cost down if i switch it to red uh, my price just went up to 307 dollars uh, if i choose any they're going to probably put this on any panel that they've got going through so they can keep my cost really low so 48 dollars so for prototypes highly recommend doing any any and then for your final run if you care about color pick the color you want so here I don't care, it's just a prototype, just checking functionality. If I go to design files, um, I can 
upload my Gerbers here, just drag and drop, make sure that all the top copper and top solder mask and everything is set properly. It looks like I have to fix one, but I'll do that later. The mill materials, uh, this you get by uploading the KiCad PCB file. Again, drag and drop. Um, then I go over to PCB. This is a um, just a preview, just like any old uh, Gerber viewer you've seen, like on Osh Park or or in KiCad itself. Make sure all your cutouts are right, that the you know the ground layers, and everything is okay. Uh, bill of materials. So this is where it's going to key off of the footprint that you've selected, and then the value. So this uh, house part. They picked it because I had a 402 220 ohm. Uh, I did not select that part number. It just it just worked. It was really nice. Uh, the switch INV. This was added late. I forgot to set the value to the part number I'd already selected. So I had to go and search for parts, and that's what you see down here is me searching for it. I end up selecting this one. It's 24 cents, and then uh, a piece plus 55 cents of labor. There's a house part diode. Uh, the BMD 300, I'm going to go ahead and consign these. Uh, quantity 1, they're $14 a piece, and I have a few samples, so I'll be sending them the samples, and then it'll be you know, $3 in labor to place each one. Uh, I'll keep scrolling down. We have some you know, capacitors and uh, some voltage regulators. Uh, we're not going to populate these headers, so if there's an item you don't want to populate or, or you don't want them to populate or you want to populate yourself, just select Do Not Populate. Um, the option here for uh, for inventory. So if you've already shipped them parts, you can select inventory, and they will pull it out of the inventory they hold for you. Uh, consign means you'll send it to them, and the market means they'll go off, go out in the market and buy it, like this accelerometer. They're going to buy it for dollar fifty and place for dollar sixty. There's the LED I showed you earlier. The tactical switch I also showed you earlier. Uh, via uh, sorry, logos in KiCad, they show up as footprints. Uh, so you'll need to set those to do not populate. Same thing with any cap sense, right? It's there's no part to populate, so make sure you set it to do not populate. Uh, up here, this kind of gives you a little work list of hey, you get you know 69 parts, 61 are populated, eight not populated, and eight with no parts selected. So make sure that you know that looks all okay, and then go to placement. Placement is where you double check every part. You know, did they pick the right spot? Did they pick the right orientation? Are they off by? You know, a quarter of a millimeter or whatever. Uh, right now, I've already got about 85% complete. I'm looking at one of the diodes, so I do care about which direction it's in. Uh, you notice the diode, the diode direction in here, so it looks like everything's okay. Uh, it's lined up properly. Um, I want to see what work list I have left. You know, I've done a couple capacitors on the back side. I've already completed the front side. Uh, I have you know micro SD still to go check and approve. Uh, one of the tricks is when it first selects the part, it's going to be all black. See, like that. It's going to look like that. So it's difficult to light the pads. If you mouse over and off of it, it makes it a little bit more transparent. Now you can see that, that the pads are lined up properly. Uh, and so they'll place it. They'll place it just fine. Once the placement's all set up and everything's verified, go ahead and uh, order it. But if you notice here, it's forty-eight dollars and forty-three cents for one. But if I scale it up to let's say a hundred, it's nineteen hundred dollars. So that's nineteen dollars a piece. Uh, getting pretty good economies of scale there. Five hundred, uh, seven thousand. So that's like fourteen dollars a piece. Not bad. Uh, so we're planning to do this for our final prototype, but we're going to go ahead and order a few of these uh, once they come in. Probably expect about thirty days. It's estimating twenty six here. Well, that's for five hundred, but for for five, it's estimating about 15 days. It's going to take me some time to get the LEDs and the other parts to them. So I expect we'll have something about the end of the month. And then uh, we'll go ahead and show that off, show uh, the, the quality of the work, and uh, try to get some code load on it and show off some of the features. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.